Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, this is Pavan from MDM IT Training. So before I start uh, today's session, today's demo session on SAP GUI performance testing. So I'd like to thank my YouTube channel subscribers. Uh, we recently crossed to 5,000 subscribers. And we also started, you know, recently, very recently, we started Instagram page. So please do follow us on my Instagram page. And also, like we started classroom training in Amit Pet, as you can see here. So this is our Amit Pet classroom. Uh, it's a spacious and you know, like uh, located in a prime location and adjacent to Amit Pet Metro Station. Uh, let me show you quickly. Show you the address, exact address. So it's this is the address here, guys, as you can see here. It's located in Vasvi MPM Grand, adjacent, which is adjacent to Am Amit Pet Metro Station. Okay, guys. So please, you know, follow us on Instagram page. Yeah, and one more thing. So we recently completed five years. We, you know, we are celebrating fifth anniversary. Uh, so we are running some offers or fees discounts on the occasion of uh, our fifth anniversary. And we are also offering up to 25% fees discount to ladies, uh, women participants who want to join the training. So please, you know, save my WhatsApp number, guys. Please save, this is my WhatsApp number. Please save my WhatsApp number and, you know, like uh, refer any friends or relatives who are looking for, uh, you know, IT career, right? As you know, performance testing is low coding and no coding IT career, low coding or no coding IT, IT career, right? So, and we are providing training on JMeter, Loadrunner, Neoload, Sprung, Dynatrace, and we are offering both online and offline training as well, right? That is another, you know, uh, uh, unique feature or specialty of us, like, at the moment we are offering both online and offline trainings okay guys so right now let's go to the agenda item or you know demo for today so i'm going to like uh, i'm go i want to give a demo on sap gui performance testing so in today's session i would like to limit it to uh, introduction of sap gui right and uh, what are the scripting challenges, you know, what are the prerequisites for uh, to record a script with a load on that protocol, load owners, SAP GUI protocol, right? So load owner supports SAP GUI protocol, uh, like it supports, you know, approximately 34 protocols. A wonderful tool, load owner, as, as you know, most of you know, it is a wonderful tool which supports, you know, from legacy mainframe applications to rich and latest uh, rich internet applications. So SAP, uh, sorry, Loadrunner supports, you know, like uh, 34 plus protocols, which no other two performance testing tool supports. Now let's see, this is the, these, these are the course contents, guys. So these are the course contents. You can quickly go through, pass the screen and go through if you want to have a look. And let me explain, you know, let me uh, introduce like what is SAP GUI, right? So, and... Uh, Before going to SAP GUI, so I'd like to uh, explain what is SAP. SAP stands for, you know, as most of you know, SAP stands for systems, applications, and products in data processing. And SAP is the market leader in ERP software, where ERP stands for enterprise resource planning, right? And now, yeah. Now let me explain what is SAP GUI, right? So SAP GUI uh, is the GUI graphical user interface client in SAP ERP's three-tier architecture of database, application server, and the client, right? And it is a software that runs on Microsoft Windows, Apple Macintosh, or Unique Desktop, and allows a user to access SAP functionality in SAP various SAP applications such as SAP ERP, SAP Business Information Warehouse, etc. right? So basically, it's a graphical user interface for you for using SAP applications, and it is used for remote access of the SAP central server in a company's network. So I think you know, like uh, this is enough for us as a performance engineer or a test engineer. So you know, we need to understand what is SAP and what is SAP GUI, right? So please, you know, uh, help yourself uh, if you want to explore more. Now let me quickly go to let me quickly show you the SAP GUI interface, right? I have SAP GUI client installed on my machine. So let me quickly launch it. So, yeah. So once you launch it, like you will see a SAP login window like this, as you see here. 
and now i already configured my i already gave my uh, you know uh, server name application server name and instance instance number and the system id etc over here as you can see here now let me quickly click on this login Hold on, this internet. internet is going down. Hold on, yeah. Now you'll get a login screen like this. Now let me enter the credentials and log into my you know, application, SAP application, or to log into my SAP GUI client. Right. And now this is how it looks like, right? The SAP GUI, this is how it looks like. And uh, we will discuss more on this, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, related to performance testing. Now, let me try to show you, let me try to, you know, let me show you how to record a script on this SAP GUI application. Let's say if you want to do performance testing for this SAP GUI application, right? So now let me show you how to use Loadrunner protocol to record a script on this. What are the scripting challenges and what are the, what are the prerequisites or what are the settings that we have to do on both the server side and the client side? Okay, so I'm, logging out of the application for time being so just click on this log off and i'm logging out of the application and i'm closing the sap logon client now let me go to loadrunner so loadrunner is very uh loadrunner is one of the major performance testing tool as you uh, most of you know and it is a 24 years plus old tool it supports from legacy mainframe applications and to rich internet applications and coming to this, uh, you know, number of protocols, Lodana supports 34 protocols, which, you know, like, for example, this SAP GUI protocol support is not given by, you know, uh, for example, open source tools like JMeter cannot support this SAP GUI protocol, right? JMeter doesn't have this SAP GUI protocol. So let me quickly, you know, let me quickly show that. And we are also providing, you know, uh, performance testing with uh, Loadrunner and JMeter training and Blaze Meter as well. So please call me or contact me on my WhatsApp number if you someone want to you know uh, learn JMeter from basics to advanced and clear your certification as well JMeter Pro certification. And also we are providing training on as you can see here we are providing both online and offline training and offline training venue I think I have shown you the address exact location and all. So let me quickly show you the limitations of JMeter. So for, for instance, like, you know, one of the major limitation of JMeter is it doesn't support this SAP GUI protocol or Siebel CRM, right? So these kind of protocols are not supported by a uh, JMeter, right? JMeter hardly supports 10 to 15 protocols and it is a best application for only web. It is a, you know, best tool for only web applications, mostly web applications, right? Uh, still, how is it popular is because it is open source tool right uh, it is uh, still popular it is one of the uh, popular uh, performance testing tool being open source tool right so as you can see here i have listed out the differences between loadrunner professional and jm uh, and uh, jmeter so somewhere i mentioned here yes so it supports sap gui it should be sap gui and uh, okay cbel and almost every protocol whereas jmeter doesn't support sap gui and cbel applications and JMeter hardly supports 10 to 15 pro protocols, as I mentioned before, whereas Lodano supports almost all, all the protocols. Clear this? Now, now let's, let me try to, let me show you like, you know, how to record a script with, you know, uh, most of you may be knowing already, like how to record a web application. Now, let me quickly show you how to record a SAP GUI. Let's say, you know, I, I just want to record a, uh, just, you know, launch the application and log in. These, these are the transactions uh, that I want to record on this SAP GUI application. So to explain you to have, you know, to understand or to help you understand what are, you know, what are the prerequisites or what are the challenges that you, you know, you can expect, uh, uh, right? Uh, to uh, Before you work on SAP, product, SAP GUI protocol, right? What are the, you know, settings or server side settings and client side settings that you have to do? Okay. So if you observe here, you know, I will start a new script and select SAP GUI protocol, as you can see here. And uh, let me click on create. I have selected SAP GUI. By default, it will give some name, default name, right? And if you want, you can rename it. Okay, I'll do one thing. So I'll just give the name as 
ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ and let it be this is fine or else you know you can give the path as well if you want you can give the path as well even though you give the give the path you know it is uh, converting getting converted to, the, to this and now by default you know working directory will be selected by default just click on start recording and now your jmet your loader will launch to this sap gui client uh, sap gui client and you know it displays a warning just click okay it is displaying a warning saying that a script is attempting to access sap gui click okay and now uh, is basically this sap logon client is launched now let me keep proper comments okay so by default you know like we need to do some settings on the server as well as the sap gui client which i will cover in the coming up sessions i just want to show you first you know what what is the issue what is the scripting challenge that you can expect when you are working when you are trying to record a uh, performance test script with sap gui protocol right with loader all right loader or for that matter any other tool so before you do that you know uh, before you do that uh, you know enable the sap gui scripting okay so i i'll just give you like you know click i'll just give some appropriate comments click log on click okay now this is called as a floating window and now so the, i have these are my connection parameters and let me select those connection parameters and click on log on and now it you know like it prompts for credentials and as you can see here you know it is not not recording anything uh, you know because of that uh, because that setting is not at done on my client side client side as well as server side i just want to record the issue or the scripting challenge first and then i want to fix that issue I, i i want to enable that sap gui scripting on server side and the client side and then i'll make another session so i'm just giving here comments so that you will understand you know what are the what is the, what are the expected you know yeah okay so please wait for a moment guys now oh, enter we can switch to one second guys let me stop the recording and let me retry it and stop the recording let me retry it uh, let me retry the script recording somehow you know like i am unable to i am unable to you know like uh, record any steps over here okay so let me quickly retry we are trying click on start recording so as you know observe here you know nothing got recorded here except my comment so you can record on in the same script uh, so that it will overwrites all right so yes so the action was already recorded or modified you want to replace the existing content click yes and now you know as we have given the connection parameters so loadener will automatically launch uh, this sap logon client for you and now click okay here and now let me you appropriate comments click log on click log on and select this you know this is the working uh, connection parameter now i click on log on now let me enter the credentials okay. Hold on, guys. One second. Okay, guys. Uh, we face lot of such unforeseen issues. Just before, you know, I was able to log in manually. 
uh, you know, I'm able to log in manually to, to my SAP application. However, you know, when I'm recording the script, so it is uh, throwing some strange error, which I haven't seen before. Okay, so here you can see manually, I'm able to log in. Now I'm logging off, I'm clicking on log off and uh, say yes. Okay, and I close it this. Now let me give a last try. Okay. And I captured some screenshots, guys, like uh, to show you, like you know, what are the uh, challenges that you can expect. Uh, let me hold, hold on, hold on, this. Let me give one last try for today, guys. Okay. So otherwise, you know, I will do another session and I'll upload Zoom. So let me start recording again. Click OK here. And now I'll proceed with the recording, click log on. And I'm trying to, when I'm entering to, trying to enter the credentials, it is not, not allowing me to enter the, my username and password the credentials. Okay, let me Google search this error case. Okay, guys. Uh, so this is one problem that I can say uh, while recording the script when trying to record the script. And uh, also, once even when you are able to, even when you are able to log into the application, so you can expect one more issue. That is, like, uh, let me quickly show this screenshot of that. 